Stay tuned for tips and techniques from the nation's top chefs in the chef's kitchen. Today, Chateau L'Hermitage from Costière de Nîmes. And this looks like a beautiful rosé that's already been chilled. Yes. The color. Yes. And you see, it opens up just like this, very simple. It's so simple. It's very good for a picnic, that, in case you forgot your opening. In case you forget your corkscrew. Hello, and welcome to the Chef's Kitchen. I'm your host, Tina Marie, and today it's a festival atmosphere in the Chef's Kitchen, here with Chef Jonathan Cartwright, direct from Maine, from the White Barn Inn. And Thank of course, uh, Daphne Payon from Hi. Rhone Valley Wines. Yes and Jean-Luc Ledeux from Ledeux Wines in New York City. Salute! It's, cost, it's Costier de Nîmes today. We're celebrating the Southern Rhone today. That's and one of its most beautiful appellations, Costier de Nîmes. Yes, part of the uh, Rhone Valley, Côte exactly. de Rhone. Yep. Uh, and you were telling me earlier that, that Costier de Nîmes is a very festival, party kind of atmosphere yes, there, right definitely. along the Mediterranean. All year long, they have festivals, concerts, uh, bull race, Ooh. all kind of... Uh, exciting and funny things to do with friends and family. So. All amidst the backdrop of very, very old Roman ruins. Well, right? one of the most magnificent sites in Nîmes, it's in a, it's in a Roman arena, mm -hmm. uh, which is, uh, you would think that this is a relic and it's not used and it's a museum. It's a very active place in the life of, of the town of Nîmes and they have countless concerts, events, they stage plays there. You know, it's, it's really a, a used, uh, even though it's 2,000 years old, it was built to last. It's an yeah. ancient amphitheater that's an actually amphitheater. used today. Mm -hmm. yeah, with so. a rock concert. Salute to that. To bull races in 2009. <gasps> so this is a rosé, very inexpensive. This is a bottle of wine that would be under $10 in a, in a wine store. Um, and this place, I think, everything that's good about rosé. It's mm -hmm. dry, it's got light uh, red fruit aromas. Very, very smooth, smooth, very, very smooth. delicate, very delicate. Very you know, it's smooth. not a heavy at all, not alcoholic. You know, it's kind of lighter alcoholic content. You know, yeah, uh, reminds me of a leisure-filled wine. I could drink this on a on a patio, exactly. and just looking out in the beautiful countryside. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. It's almost like like a minty type of aroma mm. to it. I think it's a very very interesting bottle of wine. Very light, and just one of many wines that you'll be showcasing for us here today on the show. Exactly. Absolutely. So we welcome you back. Yes. Thank you. With you, thank you. Okay, sir, that's not a bad way to start out, is it? Not at all. Nice, Delicious. Fresh, chilled rose. We're going to do a little bit of pheasant and mm. we're going to um, braise off the legs. So, braised pheasant legs. With, and then we're going to roast off the breasts. Very nice. So, we're going to leave the breast like that and we're going to cook it on the bone, which okay. um, helps it keep a lot of flavor shape as well and helps us not overcook it. And so you're now deboning the part of the leg that we will be, that you'll be preparing that we'll Exactly, be this is the thigh, so we're just going to cut it into two even pieces and then we're going to sear them off in a hot pan. Okay. And we're going to add some root vegetables to that. So, once so we've heated in the up... Pan. You don't need any oil because there's, a, there's enough fat, I assume, in the pheasant. There is, we're using, we're going to sear skin side down. Okay. And. Um, then a little bit of the fat from under the skin will mm -hmm. reach out into the pan. Immediately curls up, you can see. How are we doing on our pheasant? Wonderful. Oh, so we've got all, all the vegetables, the root vegetables there, a little bit of the nice um, chanterelle mushrooms, chanterelles. as we call them in America, really girolles, as they would say in France. Very good. And we have some carrots. And, and are these parsnips? These okay. are uh, celery roots. Okay. Carrot. And we're going to add a little bit of potato as well. So one of the root vegetables. And we add the potato a little bit later so it doesn't overcook. We want okay. to have, we're going to serve it with potato puree. We don't want potato puree inside it's the dish. Good. As you can see, we've got a lot of vegetables in there compared to the meat. So it's really, this is the, the meat, the leg meat from here is really flavoring our vegetables. Yes. So we've got a nice meaty braised vegetable dish. We're going to add a little bit of um, red wine. Ah. So maybe you could grab a red wine. Do you want me to sure. grab any red wine? I'm sure they're all beautiful, so we'll this try it. This looks beautiful. Then. What do you Jean think? Luke can tell us all about it later on. <laughs> looks wonderful. Right now we're going to dive in. So we're going to let that evaporate a little bit. And then to that we're going to add a little bit of pheasant stock. And then we're going to put it in the oven to braise nice and slowly. So all those flavors melt in together. The sauce comes down, evaporates, reduces, and gives us a nice sauce. So we've got everything in the pan here. And how long would it typically take in the oven? About one hour. And then you've added our breast, which you said it's 15, 20 minutes to cook? Correct. So just Correct. searing it in the pan. We're, we're going to sear it and then we're going to put it in an oven. And we're going to make a little bit of mashed potato. Let's check on our little pheasant breast here. To, Tiny bit know. pink inside. It looks very juicy. So we're going to add the sauce. 
And we've got plenty of vegetables in here. Does this look <laughs> home to you? Yes. Yes, it does, doesn't it? And so exquisitely plated by chef, as always. You, you really raise the bar very high. Exquisite. So now, what are we enjoying with this pheasant? I think no better choice than a costière de Nîmes. And, and this time, what, what is great, and, and I love how uh, uh, the okay. chef is working with root vegetables, pheasant, some things that add. For me, what's Come, the, magic, me. the magic of root vegetables is how they, they have this earthiness on the outside and the explosion of, of juiciness in, on the inside. Oh, explosion <laughs> of juiciness. I love Jean-Luc, you're so passionate about it. I love hearing you describe it, but it's, it's really wonderful. It adds to the whole experience. And I think with this wine, what we're getting, it's again a blend of Grenache, Syrah. I think there's a little bit of Carignan in there. And it has that, that core of, of dark fruit. Mm -hmm. uh, and, but then, on the, you know, again, that earthiness, which communicates very well, I think, with, with the root vegetables and with the pheasant. I, I can't wait to taste this. Cheers so thank to you. that. Cheers, thank you Cheers. for some great wines. Okay, so I'm gonna taste a little bit of the, of the breast along with this beautiful, crispy skin. Mm. And with some Costier de Nîmes wine. Mm. A party in my mouth, just like Costier de Nîmes. Just beautiful. The pheasant is one of those great meats that we don't always think to, to cook in a, in a household. But uh, that, we that came out so beautifully. And as you said, you know, they don't need to be. Uh, it's, it's actually, the secret is not to overcook, I think, the, the pheasant. You want it to be mm. nice and moist on the, on the inside. It makes you feel warm inside. It's a beautiful, earthy, lovely dish. Mm. I think, you know, with the, with the leg meat, uh, you know, you can't really overcook it. And the breast there, you know, you just have to keep a little eye on it. But because it's on the bone, that gives you a little bit of leeway as well because it cooks a little slower on the bone. How, how are the potatoes? Did the um, producer's the mother's puree. pot? Oh, yes, we have to. Produce the best mashed potatoes? That lovely mm -hmm. pot, which we were commenting on prior, uh, is our director's mother's pot. How lucky we are to have used it for today's dish. And I this is a nod to her. So let's salute. To mother's pot. To mother's pot. To traditions that are handed down through exactly. generations. Absolutely. That's exactly it's the most right. important Very thing. indicative of the Cheers. south of France. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming today and allowing us to enjoy these wonderful wines and these wonderful delicacies. To see today's recipe and all of the recipes featured on the Chef's Kitchen, log on to chefskitchen.tv.